Duke coming off a very big win against Connecticut in the NIT season tip off, but can they make it back to back now at a place where a lot of people don't win? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. The Blue Devils on the road to take on Wisconsin in the Big Ten ACC Challenge. Duke undefeated all time in this challenge. But Wisconsin just 10 total losses in nine seasons under Bo Ryan at the Kohl Center. Let's bring in CBSSports.com's college basketball columnist Gary Parrish. And Gary, uh, Duke's great basketball team, but they have a very tough task here. How difficult is this for the Blue Devils? Extremely difficult. I mean, it's a huge game for Wisconsin in terms of fan interest, as it is for any time uh, or any school when Coach K comes to town. Crowd's going to be wild. As you said, Wisconsin is tough in that building anyway. Duke's going to have its hands full. Well, you look at this Duke team, Gary, and they're playing differently. They've changed some things because of the guys that aren't there. But when you look at that backcourt, just how difficult is it for anyone in the nation to match up with Nolan Smith and John Shire? Well, well they're good. I mean, uh, you know, they're experienced guys. They're older guys. And I think one of the things that's make, making them better early this year is that, you know, Duke sort of got, went into this season with a clear understanding of, of who had to play where. Last year, remember, they were trying to figure out what to do with Paulus. Could they bench him? How much do they play him? Who do they move to the point? I mean, it was sort of a, a work in process, uh, progress all the entire season. And so this year, and some of it's by numbers, they just, you know, there's a lack of depth in the backcourt. But they knew exactly what they were going to have to do in the backcourt uh, all through preseason and going into this. I think everybody's comfortable in their role and they're playing well. Yeah, you look at Wisconsin and they're coming off the Maui Invitational wins against Arizona, a uh, good game against Gonzaga, and a, and a win against Maryland as well. Uh, have they surprised you as to what they've done? They surprise me every year. And at this <laughs> point, we should be beyond that. I actually made a, uh, a, a promise to myself, I broke it, but a promise to myself last year that I was going to rank Wisconsin in the preseason no matter what. Didn't care who was on the roster, didn't care if somebody had a torn knee, bum shoulder, two gets transferred, one dies in a car wreck. Did not matter to me. I was going to rank Wisconsin. Of course, this year I didn't do it. Now here they are. If they were to win this game against Duke, they'll probably be in the rankings and all of us will look stupid again. Bo Ryan is one of the coaches who deserves the benefit of the doubt no matter what. I have to consistently remind myself of that. He ne you know, I don't want to say never. He rarely has a roster that matches the win total that he should have. He does not have a roster that matches Duke's roster, and yet I won't be surprised if they beat Duke. Well, he does have a big-time player in Trayvon Hughes. Do you think he can have a big enough game to, for them to beat Duke? He needs to. I mean, he is, when I say they don't have a roster, I don't mean to slight any of their players, but let's be honest, it's not a North Carolina roster, a Kansas roster, a Kentucky roster. But Trayvon Hughes is a real player. He's averaging, you know, 14.2 points, 4.8 rebounds. If Wisconsin's going to win a game like this game, beat a team like Duke, he's got to be good. All right. Are you going to take him to beat Duke? You know what? I should, and I, you know, when we talk <laughs> later, I'll, I'll uh, feel stupid. But no, I mean, the way Duke's playing right now, again, I, I always fall back on talent, and they've clearly got the best talent here. It will be difficult. It will be a game. I think we'll look up late in the second half, and it'll be a one-possession game. But uh, that Duke team's playing really, really well right now, and I think they'll go in there and steal a victory. All right, well, just to be confrontational, I'll take Wisconsin. Gary Parrish, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. All right, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. Again, it's Wednesday night from the Kohl Center. For Gary Parrish, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.